Hi, Stephanie here again from Simply On Demand and welcome back to my channel. While I've got your attention over here, please don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so that you are notified every time I upload a new video. So today I want to show you how to create wavy text. I have started with a YouTube thumbnail because I'm going to make it my thumbnail as well at the same time. So when we are on the home screen, type in whatever it is that you want to type in and then select the, the canvas that you're going to want to work from. It will open in a new tab like this. So what I've done is on the keyboard, I have hit the letter T, which will bring up our text box and let's just delete that. And I, I named it wavy text and I added that little one over there as well. So I want to create us to create a wavy text. So this is going to be my thumbnail and I'm going to zhuzh it up a little bit and you'll see when, we, when I'm done, when the video is uploaded. So now what I've done, what I've done is I've actually just duplicated this and made the text a different color. To change the color of the text, I simply selected the text and went to the A up at the top there and clicked on it and it opens up a, all of the color palettes that I have stored in my pro account. All right, so you can then select a color from here. If you know the hex code, you can enter it or you can pick it up with a, with a color dropper like that as well. So now I've got the text and I am going to download this one single page like this by clicking on the status bar at the top over here, click on download and I leave it at PNG. And I don't want to do a transparent background because I do want to keep the pink and select the page. I'm going to deselect all of them only select page two. You can see I'm on page two over there. Select page two, done, and then I click on download. So once I've downloaded it, obviously it will then end up in my file explorer. And I am going to take that, let's just take that away. I'm going to take that same upload, download that I've got over here, and I'm simply going to drag it across into Canva like this, and when I drop it, it will start to download over here under the upload section. So I simply opened up a new design, a new canvas, and I copied, and let me show you what I've done over there. So let's just do that and take that away. So here's my blank page, I simply just Click on it like that. Let's just take that away. And this is now, that's not what I wanted to do. Let's lock the background. So you see what I've done over there. So this, because this is a picture and this is a grid that I had previously inserted to change, the, in order to change the, the brightness of my brand color down to a muted text so that my font text actually stands out. So when I drag a, a normal text around, nothing happens to it. It doesn't snap into the grid itself. And there it is in the center. But because this is a grid, which I found under elements and grids over there. All right, let's take that away. When I drag my photograph across anywhere, it will automatically snap into place over here. This is not what I want to do. So I undo it, select the background and click the padlock. Now I can drag the text around any which way I want and nothing is going to happen to it. So now what I want to do is I want to make sure that this is we are going to create a wavy effect, a wavy text effect with this. So what I want to show you over here, the text, when we've got a text box like this, 
we can go to effects and we can change the text effects. But when it's an image like this, we do not have the same text effect that we have had over here with this design. We now have a picture effect. Remember, this is now a picture. So we click on effects over here. And there's all of our options that we can change the picture itself. Now I want to look, I want to show us the liquify because that's where the wavy text is going to be. And as you can see, let's just take leave that one. When we click on any of them, they 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 give us a little bit of a different type of effect. There's smear, there's a smudge, there's a melt that hard, you can hardly read, and so on and so forth. The one I want us to use is this uh, wobble up at the, down at the end over here. Now you'll see on the section that I have selected, there's sort of like a little hamburger control doohickey over there. So when we click on that, it will open up a new menu. And now we can simply make the wave more or less. Let's do it that way. And we can do the size exactly the same. All right, like that. Okay, and then simply click on apply over there. Wait for all of this to disappear. And it may take a moment sometimes. Once this is gone, it means then that Canva has taken, it's, it's rendered our change complete over here. Okay, so there it is. So now this is our wavy text that we created from a very normal looking piece of text over here. And this is fun and funky that you can use with any type of image that you're going to be creating. You can literally change the, the size down and you can do anything that you want to have added over there as well. All right. If you let me know of any other effects that you want to see, by all means, hit the reply button. I'm always happy to hear from you. All the best and take care.